This section of our course is about modulation aspects. We have to know some features and concepts of modulation before starting modulation. So we are going to talk about this in this section. First thing is detectability. What is detectability? We say the quality of the modulated signal for given amount of channel attenuation and receiver noise. Uh, it can be a little bit uh, complicated or vague, so I'm going to explain with this simple example. So, as you see on the left side, we have a modulation. This is the ASK modulation. We are going to talk about this in upcoming sections. You don't have to worry about But for now, we use this in order to uh, understand the concept of detectability. At the left side, we have two levels. So, we are going to send the, uh, for let's say, cosine wave for data 1. And when our data is 0, let's say, imagine that we have a, we have a binary data. It's 1, 0, 1, 0. So for one, we send cosine, for zero, we send nothing. So here we have two levels, uh, one cosine and one zero. So here we have a, a level of detectability, and we are going to compare it to the second one. As you see now here, we have four levels, and this time our amplitude is changing. For example, if we have zero, zero, we don't send anything. If we have zero, one, we have a little bit amplitude. If we one, zero, we increase the amplitude, and one, one is the max amplitude for the signal. So now here, uh, so now the detectability concept comes. We are going to see uh, what is the difference between two waves. So in the left side, we can say that uh, we have less information uh, in this kind of modulation. Why? Because we are just sending one and zero. And uh, at the right side, we have more information. If we map like this, if we use this kind of modulation, we will be able to send more information. But what is the problem? In, at the left side, you see it's less susceptible to noise. So for the left side, let's say we have a small amount of noise. So this may, this amplitude may, may little bit change by noise. So we can maybe have some variations in the um, amplitude here. But again, uh, because we are sending something, we are not sending zero. So our system will be able to detect this. But what happens on the right side? Let's say we have a noise. And this time for the first part, for let's say for this part, we our amplitude is a little bit changing, it's affected by noise. And if it's a little bit affected, if our noise is actually high, this may reach the level of the, the second part here, and this may cause a problem for us. So as you see, we have we have kind of levels and intervals here. So amplitude one, amplitude two, amplitude three, let's say. These are really close to each other. So it means that they are really, this system is sensitive. If we have a little bit noise on the amplitude, our system may have problem in detecting or demodulating this data. That's why we say uh, the right, uh, the system at the right, the modulation at the right side is less detectable. We can say the left side is more detectable and right side is less detectable because when we have a noise in system, uh, this, this, it may cause a problem for the uh, modulation at the right side. So that's why we say the quality of the modulated signal for given amount of channel attenuation and receiver noise. It means that we want to see what kind of quality we can reach from our message after, um, after constructing it, after um, doing a demodulation. So that's why we call it detectability. The second one is bandwidth efficiency. So uh, why we need efficiency in bandwidth? It's very simple because uh, we, we have lots of applications in our world and we always want to decrease our bandwidth. We want to uh, be efficient. So we say the frequency spectrum is limited and uh, we have to utilize it efficiently. Uh, we, we, we are limited on the bandwidth. We can say, okay, we can put uh, um, as much as information we want inside the bandwidth, increase the bandwidth and don't care about the other applications. No, it's not like that. We are limited. So we say a given bandwidth is said to be used effectively if maximum information... Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.